Marketer of the Day, Episode 707, Omnichannel Marketing, E-Commerce Marketing Automation with Ritus Loris. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Marketer of the Day podcast. We are here with Ritus Loris from OmniSend, which is a powerful marketing automation platform that is focused on moving e-commerce marketers beyond those boring, outdated, generic email marketing tools. And we're going to talk all about this concept today called Omni-Channel Marketing. We're talking about talking to your customers through email, SMS, Facebook ads, Google retargeting, all the platforms. That way they will notice and pay attention to you and click and buy from you. So Rias, glad to be talking to you today. Hey, Robert. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. You're very welcome. And so when we're talking about uh, omni-channel marketing, can you kind of tell us in your own words, what the heck is it and why is it so dang important? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the concept where you really still rely on uh, on email at the core, but you augment your communication with uh, like retention marketing and retention communication with your existing customers with uh, other channels like text messages. You have already mentioned those like Facebook messenger messages, WhatsApp messages, uh, web push notifications, and even the kind of retargeting ads, which have been directly connected to your mailing list and, and synchronized with Facebook and Google, Google ads to run proper, proper uh, retargeting campaigns. So that's basically when you allow your customer to choose channel which is the most preferred for them to communicate with your brand with your online store with your business it's one thing and another thing uh, choosing the best channel for the different occasions uh, for both marketing and transactional messages well great and so when you say there that the, our customers are choosing which channel that is their favorite to get these marketing messages are you saying that uh like it, it typically happens where maybe they, they subscribe in all these different channels and then maybe they unsubscribe from all but one or maybe they, they focus more on the WhatsApp or the Messenger as opposed to just being completely overwhelmed with all the messages from every which way? Yeah, yeah, that's that's absolutely correct. So first thing is really have like bringing them the optionality, so allowing them to choose which channels are the most preferred for uh, for the different ways of communication. And again, it's all about like placing the, their request in different in different uh, situations in different occasions so maybe if let's say you are online store and the, and you have a checkout so in checkout definitely uh, your customers are uh, entering email addresses and phone numbers so you can ask both those two permissions to communicate via email as well as via text messages. Uh, let's say in a product page if the product is out of stock you can insert uh, Facebook Messenger WhatsApp subscription. And you promise that the a, a dude will gonna update you once the stock is is the product is back on stock, or like uh, price reduction, and the, so you get all those different permissions to communicate. And yeah, absolutely right, they should be able to unsubscribe from one channel. So if you lose a subscriber from an email, the the same person may still remain as a subscriber through a different channel if if the one prefers to be communicated by let's say WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. Well, great. Well, you're making a lot of sense here. And uh, and I mean, uh, us marketers communicating on multiple channels is what we've been doing to survive, right? I mean, it's like when you're on this podcast here because you're trying to pick up other podcasters, you're not just limiting yourself to only email marketing or, you know, solo ads or Facebook ads. We're all just trying to get traffic and continue to uh, talk to our customers on, on uh, all these different channels. And I like how you said there that uh, you get people to subscribe for specific reasons, right? It's not just something yeah. boring like, we'll get some marketing updates. You're saying like if this out-of-stock product is back in stock or if there's a price reduction. So and that this is great because this seems like a way for them to look forward to this specific type of uh, of transactional message that's coming through. And so when we're talking about uh, this omni-channel marketing thing, uh, what's the reason for having it like all in one system? Because I'm sure someone out there is thinking, well, can't I just have an email autoresponder and can I have the, the messenger bot and can I have the text message blast? What's the advantage to having it all in one location? 
Yeah, very great question. So um, the main advantage is really having a single customer profile and single customer view. So there are gr- great tools out there which which are really covering point solutions for for email, for for, for SMS, for Facebook, ways of messenger communication. But uh, usually, what happens? They are not being properly synchronized, and you lose you lose the data. You lose the data. That means that uh, let's say Roberts start, just start being bombarded through different channels because they are not synchronized. And let's say let's take some quite basic automation, abundant cart reminder, the most popular automation out there in in the world. Uh, so what what happens if you're using different tools? So Robert is being sent. Email is being sent to Robert, text messages is being sent, and like Google ads are being shown at the same time. It's so it's kind of overwhelming. It's you are bombarding customers. And having it in one, one tool enables you to put it all on one sequence, all on one flow. And uh, we start communicating with Robert sending an email because it's kind of the most co- cost effective for us as a marketers, for us as a business. If uh, Robert does ignore our email, then we maybe send a Facebook messenger message. Then maybe we send a push notification and finally send text message and start showing retargeting ads. So it's 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 more kind of uh, less 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 intrusive as sometimes marketing marketing in general might be intrusive in general. So instead of just bombarding, having it in all place, it's one thing. Another thing is really uh, giving an optionality for your customers, like preference center, etc., where customers choose which channels they, they prefer to communicate with, and it's all in one place. Uh, we avoid the feeling when the customer kind of felt like I have unsubscribed from this brand communication, but the ones keep sending me text messages. It's because he just unsubscribed from one channel, not, and this data is not being synchronized uh, across different tools. So this is the biggest challenge where all-in-one solutions, all-in-one platforms are uh, solving. And that makes perfect sense. Like you, if you're doing a, a cart abandonment campaign, someone put something in the shopping cart and then left, and then you're following them around with the the Google ads and the, uh, the, te- the texting and the messenger and all that. And then let's say they come back and they buy and they're still getting those messages. First of all, that that's annoying. But then from you as the marketer, you're still spending money on those ads and you're, you know, you're still doing all the work for a transaction that already happened. And then I imagine also you can't, check your numbers later and you can't see how that converted. So that makes a lot of sense by exactly. like, having it there in in all one system. And so, you know, we've mentioned a few like possibilities and, and what ifs here, some, some real kind of fun scenarios. And I, I'm hoping that you have like a fun case study or a story like a, like a real company and something that really happened where uh, maybe they, they started using uh, OmniSend and uh, implemented some of the stuff and had some great results. So do you have any like fun stories like that so we can kind of jump in and be along for the ride? Yeah, sure. So uh, I'm not sure if it's kind of fun, maybe more more realistic. Yeah. So uh, it's it's kind of more uh, uh, data aggregated from from all of our customers, which which are using. So maybe I will not share one very specific story, and then maybe uh, not that fun. Okay. Yeah. So there there were okay two two pieces. One is a little bit of statistics, and then it's a fun story from the existing customer. Yeah, so what we see for the customers who are using at least three channels to communicate with uh, their customers, uh, marketers, so they have 90% high customer retention rate. So this is kind of absolutely great results. So this is a proof that when you communicate through different channels, people choose which channel, maybe that day is the most convenient for them. And so they almost twice often your customers are coming back to visit your website. It's 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 one of the things. Another great thing, like a conversion by itself has increased by like 250%. So those customers who are really using it in, in, in the omni-channel, free plus channel. So my advice for everyone who is considering already doing, like having two channels is not still an omni-channel thing. So but really add as many channels as you can. Of course, not 100% of your customer base will be subscribing to all those different channels, but more options you have for customers, the better results you, you're going to get. So, um, so, so that's, that's uh, one of things. And yeah. And, and the story about, about, about the customers is, yeah. So one specific customer and like combining, uh, combining those different channels, it was, it was then like not, not 100% properly set up and, and, uh, instead of fallbacking things 
because like in with on send you can fall back so primarily channel is email and if i don't have a permission to send an email uh, i'm willing to send an sms only in that case so like uh, not 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 like 100 properly set up and really like uh overwhelming with messages like too much but that was only like VAP customers with very good offer. So all those VAP customers were, were really happy. So nothing bad happened. But but yeah, uh, uh, kind of they, they got like too much attention than they have expected initially. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. So that that, that that was kind of a proof that you know uh, like using to, to like a lot of channels, especially when when you combine it with a proper segmentation with like your know, good customers. So it's kind of a proof that it really works, but at the same time, it was not what you would like to do it, you know? Um, yeah. So that was kind of uh, not, not uh, kind of say, uh, not the best story, but a fun story as you was asking for a fun story. And yeah, uh, it's with, with a happy ending. Well, you bring up an interesting point about this this whole list segmentation thing, right? That you you can you don't necessarily have to just uh, send one blast to everyone. You can narrow down like you know your top five or ten percent of customers and maybe market to them uh, a little bit more aggressively or give them some mm-hmm. kind of a special offer that only they can uh, do. And so, as far as people using your OmniSend platform and getting all the pieces working and like best practices, uh, what do you recommend as far as some of that VIP list segmentation. Yeah, it's just not only about VIP lists. So um, yeah, few few practices. Definitely, like segmentation is 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 really great and it really works. And uh, again, like uh, according to our calculations, across our customer base. So those who do segment, uh, so they usually they usually get uh, almost thirty five percent higher open rates. And then finally, it ends ends up in like twenty six percent more uh, more orders. So if you segment properly, of course, you have to put some effort in that, but it really pays off. So a few examples of great segmentation is uh, the API I have mentioned, like the best customers. So sometimes what happens, like um, we promise our customers that subscribe to our list, and you're going to be treated as like the best customer. You're going to receive the best deals and everybody's receiving the same so come on it's not the VAP treatment but uh, but you can really segment on your own based on uh, previous orders uh, based on average cart value which customers are like leaving the most money for you like spending the most money in, in your let's say online store so uh, yeah so start treating them a little different and really uh, like send the messages uh, with best offers organize maybe some offline events and let them feel uh, don't be afraid to, to, to say that they are best customers and let them feel that they are being treated somehow special so it's w- w- one one like se- segment another segment let's say uh, about new prospective customers we always have as a marketers in our mailing list those who are subscribers but have not uh, purchase from us uh, like never uh, so so with this with this group usually you can be a little bit more let's call aggressive and you can use like uh, more channels run retargeting campaigns uh, not not like trying to sell something like very fast but when someone subscribes to your let's say mailing list you have an email address you start sending welcome campaigns immediately it's very important to send welcome campaigns immediately you start doing retargeting campaigns uh, because you have uh, an email address already but not as a retargeting uh, as we usually understand it it's no need to show the specific product which was already visited but just you know to raise your brand awareness immediately a little bit that okay uh, i see those those are welcoming me back maybe some some offer some some discount for that specific customer group etc so again so like new customers which you're willing to convert to the first bars vip customers uh, another another segment this um you know, like reactivation those who used to buy from us but we have not seen them for quite a while so it's worth worth uh, worth time to time running those campaigns and uh, it's it's too bad if it's one, it's a possibility to to uh, to reactivate uh, parts of those customers, and then it's it's kind of hygiene thing. So if if some of the customers have been ignoring you for let's say twelve months or eighteen months, so you better better delete them from your subscribers list because they probably will never come back to you. Uh, 
to, to purchase. So maybe they, they are back uh, with a new email address, if I, a new phone number. So yeah, so a few, few examples of, of, of good segmentation. Yeah, and, and there are uh, just so many fun scenarios that you can play, right? Like you, you mentioned a few times of retaining your customers, not just getting new ones, but hanging on to the ones that you have. Uh, like you just said, reactivation so that there might be customers that are on the way out. Maybe they haven't uh, bought in a while and maybe it's time to wake them up with some other offer or uh, some more messages. And then like you said, at some point, they might completely be just just dead and gone, uh, so to speak. And then they aren't, they aren't worth uh, marketing to anymore. And I mean, as you know, in this day and age, it's so fun to play with these platforms because uh, things are connected now with like the, like the zaps and things like that. Like you don't have to do a lot of custom coding. Sometimes it hooks into some uh, systems. And so uh, along the lines of, you know, segmenting or waking people up, uh, one thing that I see done sometimes with these e-commerce stores, but not super often is like the personal videos. And so I find that really fun where like sometimes um, mm -hmm. if your store is growing, if it's new, then I mean, why not have every single uh, like order go into a queue and then have the virtual assistant record a quick 20 second video and saying, hey, thanks for ordering such and such, uh, we'll, like we'll send it to you soon. And then even if your e-commerce store grows, uh, you know, why not maybe do some of that segmenting and do that for like the high ticket customers or the repeat customers. Mm -hmm. And so does OmniSend hook into uh, some of these other systems so we can kind of do fun things like that, like, you know, postcards or personal replies? Yeah, so we do we do have like zaps and like yeah, a lot a lot of different so per personal like postcards no I mean or you can you can integrate via Zapier with any 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 platform which which is being supported by Zapier so we are quite quite deeply integrated with Zapier and uh, yeah so postcards no uh, but like loyalty programs and uh, customer support so like Smile loyalty line. Um, UGC, user generated content like Yotpo, Kendo, and, and other solutions there. So yeah, so we have we have like around 30, 30 few integrations. Uh, as we're focusing mainly on e-commerce stores, so all of our integrations are with the tools which really are serving those online online stores. So yeah, so a, a lot of different integrations, and you can you can come up with different scenarios. Sure. And you know, one more thing on what you have mentioned, I really like this like video, personal video thing, is one of the very, very effective automations there is upsell, like immediate upsell after the customer has purchased something from you and you send start immediate campaign, automated campaign to really upsell the product which uh, somehow uh, fits, like, you know, which can be combined. combined let's say someone has purchased a phone so before you dispatch it uh, you try to upsell with a wireless charger or with a case for phone uh, so yeah so it's very effective uh, and the message usually is before we send it over to you would you like to add it to the same uh, to the same uh, box it's going to be it's going to cost you nothing for for the delivery delivery uh and maybe there is a discount if you make up your mind in the upcoming 12 hours so like combining with like a personalized video message might kind of skyrocket uh the the, the conversion rates in, in this flow which is already quite effective Awesome. So there are just so, so many fun ideas to, to, to put yeah. into practice, right? Like, uh, like the upsell. And so as far as like maybe thinking of an upsell for people to market, is that is that a matter of just making a judgment call and saying like, well, they have a phone, maybe they want a case or do you recommend people like just let the orders roll in and then maybe look at the data later? Like what's kind of the process there of deciding like what upsells to to try to market to that order? Yeah, so so it depends if... Uh... How much how much data do you have and how, how big is your business and how many SKUs like different pro products do you have so like as, as starting from as basic as what what fits together and you just manually add and 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 then following up by let's say recommenders which can be embedded omnisend has a recommender and other products can be embedded into into email so let's say what what works the best with that specific product so it can be either done manually if you don't have too many products uh, or too much data to, to really be analyzed and to recommend uh, for the beginners and for advanced businesses so we recommend it to replace with automated like recommendations what what products is being sold the most or 
which which product fits the best with the product which was bought by by the customer. Yeah, so there are two options. Awesome. So uh, we've been talking about so many amazing features that people can tap into when they use OmniSend. And so when they, they sign up and they begin using your platform, I, I imagine there are like uh, videos and tutorials and things like that. That way they don't get overwhelmed. That way they can uh, begin kind of using the system more and more until it's all in one. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so absolutely knowledge base, uh, uh, full of videos. We do organize webinars for our customers. And uh, yeah, and I would say there are two kind of self-service customers, smaller ones, which which we do have 24-7 support. We have knowledge base. Uh, we have videos. We have webinars for them. Um, and uh, there are larger customers, uh, uh, like long-term customers, for whom we have uh account managers, onboarding going on. So where we really kind of hands-on, we help them to properly set up everything and then to really get the, get the most of the, of the tool itself. Super cool. And so uh, I can tell that, that you have all your bases covered. I can tell that you're really excited about what you built here. Uh, and it seems like you thought of everything. Is there anything that is still upcoming as far as you and your company any kind of like really interesting feature that uh, maybe is not quite done but is coming out soon anything on on the cutting edge anything like that yeah so there are a few which which are in our uh, on our list so like send time optimization is one of the kind of lacking lacking things and a lot of improvements in automation to have uh, to be able to build a split split testing automations we have like a b testing in 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 campaigns now we don't have uh, auto, in automations a b testing so that's that's upcoming um, on our roadmap and yeah and and the really really good and in-depth uh business analytics so we have reporting now but we're adding on top with really comprehensive business analytics which is like mainly uh, mainly mainly a, a feature or capabilities for uh larger customers but yeah it's it's going to be like one of the best uh, in the market or maybe even the best in the market so it's 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 coming soon awesome well, well i hope so well i i love your thought process here as far as uh just like you know t- testing and tweaking and and optimizing further as far as what that customer wants or what sells best so that way we can get closer and closer to true artificial intelligence right and just like kind of uh, where it's almost magic and people just uh get exactly what they want. And so uh, as we uh, begin to wrap up this conversation here, do you do you have like a, a secret to success as far as people uh, succeeding with your platform? Like, do you recommend that uh, that maybe they devote like a certain amount of time every day towards getting all these steps implemented? Or do you recommend that they they start small or have reasonable goals? Or how can we guarantee that when someone begins using OmniSend, it's a tool that they'll actually use and and succeed with for years to come yeah so uh it depends i would say it depends on the stage of your business if you are like uh, more more beginners so definitely gradual gradual process is what what is the best you know instead of trying to set up properly just gradually improve things and and start utilizing one feature after another um so that's that's the way i would recommend and if if you are migrating business like you already using some more generic email service provider, but you have a lot of experience, you know what your customers are, uh, are really interested on, what what messages. So what OmniSend can help you is really to uh, better automate, to better segment your customers, to 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 um, to broaden uh, the channel channels options. So let's say you know. Uh, what kind of messaging works for a mass for your customer base, but we can help you to add other channels on top. Uh, so it's really kind of for larger customers. I would recommend to really uh, start at least with three channels at once, as I have already mentioned. So this is where the real impact kicks in uh, and where you really start benefiting from from omni-channel approach. So start at least with three channels. This is this is the best thing. And another advice which I would have for every every marketer and every every use, user of any SaaS business uh, that uh, don't stop improving as SaaS tools uh, tend to improve themselves like constantly. But what happens with customers in many cases is that they have their routine and I have set up. I'm pretty happy with that. I have not improved anything and have not utilized any new capability which was rolled out by the tool in, let's say, 12 months. I mean, 
sometimes it happens with ourselves as well. Well, I mean, we, we use a lot of SaaS tools for, to run our business and we set up and we just forget, although the tool has improved a lot in the past year or past two years, but we're not utilizing uh, the features and the capabilities they already have, although we're paying for the same price for that. So that's, that would be advice for, for all the mortgages and for all, all SaaS uh, u- users. Very good advice. You're so right. It's easy to get comfortable, to stay mediocre, to take the things we've set up for granted because they're working, because it's just okay. But why not be curious? Why not uh, read up and study up on some of those new features that are always coming out with these SaaS services? That way we can uh, get ahead of that competition and just always be uh, slightly better. And so this has been a great conversation. If people are ready to take the next step, if they want to see what OmniSend is all about, what's the website? Where can they go? Yeah, so omnisend.com. So really welcome to go there. You can start immediately uh, while signing up for a 14-day trial and play around by itself, by yourself. Or you can book a demo, a personal personal uh, demo to, yeah, to help us guide you through the tool and show all the capabilities and better analyze your, your needs and, and to see how Omnisend can reflect them and help you to run your business better. Super awesome. So uh, if you've been listening to our conversation and you're not yet marketing on three channels at once, then you're really missing out on the power of what you could be doing. So the place to go right now is omnisend.com. That's O-M-N-I-S-E-N-D.com. And either book your 14-day trial if you're a a poker in on your own kind of person or book that demo if you're the kind of person that uh, maybe you're not even sure what you're looking at and you want someone to to show you, go here, do this. Here is how your e-commerce store could be better. Whether you're a beginner who's slowly getting things ramped up or you're an existing business and you're just tired of uh, piecing all these things together, you'd rather have it in one unified system me you want to migrate over omnisend.com is the place for you to go to uh, experience and enjoy the power of omni channel marketing that way you can do all these fun things like uh, do with cart abandonment or uh, reactivate some uh, customers that could be uh, more active than they are or hang on to your existing customers this is the thing that you need to do for your e-commerce store if you want to continue on and grow and survive and thrive so the place to go is omnisend.com and thanks so much readers for stopping by and for telling us what we need to know about this whole e-commerce omni-channel marketing thing. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Robert. It's been a great pleasure. Want to be a guest on Marketer of the Day? Or can you recommend an author, speaker, coach, or entrepreneur with a great success story and awesome insights? Go to marketeroftheday.com slash ask and tell us who you'd like to have on the show. That's marketeroftheday.com slash ask.